What's up, Soul Tribe? What's up, Night Owls? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your late night creep tip reading. So let's see what's coming up for the late night creep tip. It's cards popping out already, but I'm going to put them back because they're coming out of clubs. So let's see. Let's see what's coming out for the late night creep tip. And we want to tap into the collective for the energy in and around the collective right now in this moment. And I feel like it's what? One what? 144. How come I always start readings at 1.44 a.m.? That's crazy. Okay. What's coming in for the late night creep tip for the collective? And I just saw 44 seconds on the clock. What's coming in for the collective for the late night creep tip? Oh, shit. A high value man. Or I want to say it came out crossing, guys. So this is somebody that's working their way up. And this could even be you. Somebody here is working their way up to being a high-value individual. And this is somebody that you have a strong connection with. I feel like y'all been looking good as hell. Working on y'all fitness lately. Okay, focused on y'all fitness lately. Yeah. <laughs> so people like, even if you're still a little thick, you know, people gonna be joking with you like, okay, hey, skinny mini. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you like pitch me rolling. So maybe y'all did something like um maybe y'all did some like dope ass like photoshop and y'all printed it out and y'all like hung it up as body goals like yes because it's like i want to picture myself you know picture me rolling in my 500 bins like you know basically the bins is your body it's like you know <laughs> yeah i'm whipping a form with this beautiful body you know so somebody here got a couple screws missing they may not be letting you know that because this person is high value this person is very authentic so whatever this person tell you when it come down to their feelings their emotions their intentions it's the truth okay so i feel like you guys got two people coming in i feel like this person that got a couple screws missing is actually somebody on the outside and this person has a desire to conform and fit in with a crowd okay you view them as the sheep or they are all right and this person might have been holding you back from some type of superstardom. This person may have big banana energy. So this is somebody that you're not looking back to, but this is somebody that feel like all of their power, you know, lie between their lower regions. It's like, you know what? Normally, that's what run the show. And for you, it don't work like that. It's like, you gotta be free. Some of you guys are like very free spirited, you know, women and men, and I feel like, you know, y'all want to pursue dreams, y'all want to travel, y'all want to do things, y'all want to meet people, y'all want to have experiences, and it's not that y'all don't want to be in a relationship, but y'all want to be in a relationship with somebody that's okay with that, where it's not like a back and forth or it's causing a lot of drama and a connection, somebody that's strong and confident enough to allow you to shine and flow and go and be you, you know, without feeling insecure, without feeling like they have to put limitations on you or whatever the case is. Because it's, it's giving me that this person that's a sheep that desires to fit in, that's going crazy because you're meeting a high value person. It's like this person feel like this can win them back into your heart. It's like, yeah, I'm about to dab. I'm about to slide right up in there. I'm about to electric electric slide right up in ADM and see what's popping. But I want to tell y'all right now, you being tested because whoever this person that's coming in that's high value, authentic, you know, this person is focused, they into their fitness. Y'all may really, really love this person's mind, body, and y'all soul connection, okay? But somebody here is not happy about that. And they trying to basically hijack the freaking reading. It's like they dipping and dabbing, photo uh, photo bombing, sliding in with the dab banana. Like, <laughs> like oh, I thought somebody said they got a new person. No, under over my dead body, okay? Hmm. There is an immense, like, I want to say that there is an immense difference between the two people that's coming in. One may be a little bit rough around the edges and the other one could be very conservative or come from a conservative background. That don't mean that this person can't turn up and that they're not passionate or whatever the case is. But I just feel like it's a difference. It's a difference in the morals between the two of these people. Uh-oh. What's this? Wanting to steal your ideas and pass them off as their own. 
So this is why this person tried to hold you back. Because whoever this is, they like to lead. Okay? So maybe this person was trying to hint at you that you need to humble yourself and allow them to be the lead, the ring leader. Okay? This person might have recently experienced a loss when it comes down to a child. Okay? Yeah. And this could have even been something that happened between y'all. Oh, yeah. Okay, so maybe this is somebody that, you know, in the past, you could have been pregnant by this past person that's, like, acting low vibe and crazy now. You know what I'm saying? And maybe they weren't showing you that side back then. But whatever the case happened, you guys could have had a miscarriage by this person. But now this person got a baby on the way. Okay. So, yeah. Why is baby on the way here? divine protection in reverse Ooh, quality time in reverse so they ain't spending time with the person that's pregnant by them okay they they recognize that uh it's like their protection is compromised so maybe they feel like this person that they impregnated is like cursed like maybe they feel like they have really bad luck or they growth is stunted but maybe this person blaming people but they really trying to hold you back and that could be the reason why certain things are stunted not because this person just you know just bad luck like maybe you generating bad luck through hating on people you know but somebody here definitely wanted to stop you from being a star and they wanted to steal your ideas and make them their own or for some of you that could be this person that could be this person that they feel like they want to keep their distance from. They don't want to uh, spend no time with that person because they a bad vibe. Yeah, and this person ain't taking no for an answer. Okay, so somebody got a baby on the way, and I don't feel like they can accept the ending. They might have thought that this baby was the ticket to, like, forever with this masculine because that's what most people feel. It's like, okay, we having a baby now, so we have to consider more than just ourselves and our outside attractions and our differences. Like, we have to consider the fact that we really do have a job here together now. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm not even gonna lie. Like, they could have been the one that was trying to hold you back because it seemed like they kind of even jealous of, you know, your light, your birthright, and how you shine because they may not feel as blessed in their in their journey as you. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, y'all, this person is, like, really planning on coming forth in the next uh, one to three months. Okay. Spirit is telling y'all to continue to learn, you know, basically continue doing what y'all doing. Y'all going in the right direction, okay? So, it's just this air of, um, you know, y'all taking care of business, y'all doing y'all inner work. It's like y'all being as productive as y'all can when it comes down to the things that you guys want to gain, you know, in a positive way in your life. You know, you're working on things that you you know you see like you've discovered during shadow work it's kind of like okay well let me work on these things and let me see how i can you know uh transform them into positive attributes about myself rather than things that i really want to change but i haven't been trying to diligently change until now so y'all just really focus right now for real okay y'all in this really scholarly energy y'all can be an autodidact just like really uh you know, y'all might come off even college educated, even if y'all don't have a degree, because it's like, you know, you read a lot, you teach yourself a lot, you do deep research, you listen to lectures. It's like you really do a lot of things to stimulate your mind and you put aside activities that really like warp the mind or, you know, cause you to be blocked off. OK, so somebody here want to tell you that they didn't mean it that way. They didn't mean what that way. Let's put one on. I didn't mean it in that way. Oh, y'all, they flew. Okay, so I see cured and STD in reverse here with colored hair. Hmm. Let's get one more on. I didn't mean it in that way. That's crazy. So this may be what they got going on outside of this. Why is I didn't mean it in that way here? Okay, so yeah, this is a conversation. This is some dialogue between them and the person that they're leaving behind. So this person may have short colored hair, okay? Blonde or red is what I'm picking up the most. 
Okay, and I don't know, this person might wear their hair in those real wavy, like, finger waves. I'm picking that up. Or just, like, uh, like a teeny weeny afro, like, curly defined curls. Okay, son-in-law in reverse, y'all. Somebody done fell out with their mother-in-law here. Don't let me leave. It's like, let me get the fuck out of here because somebody is not accepting of being friends on it. And for this, their mother or father is pissed. Like, a person that uh one of their spouse's parents that they used to get along really really well with they done had a fallout because this person is leaving this person pregnant wow okay friends on in reverse this person like hell no you ain't about to just leave me in the dust with a baby you got me yeah gained the world and lost they soul so the thing is is that this person was in competition with y'all and it's like they felt like they was about to get everything. And it's kind of like now they had this forever soul tie where it's no real emotional connectivity. It could have just been attraction, excitement, adventure, and all kind of things that was fun and very temporary. And these people put a permanent stamp on their life by creating a child together. And now this masculine is ultimately deciding that he wants to go towards somebody that's highly favored. Okay, so this conversation, I don't mean it, in, I didn't mean it in that way, is one of these people, it could be this woman uh, with short colored hair that is basically trying to plead for this person to stay here. It's like, you know what, I'm here and I've been trying to stick it out even though I don't feel favored here when I know where I can go and be favored. You know, and where this person might have thought this person was irreplaceable, now they seeing them as replaceable. So whatever they may have had, I feel like it's cured now because I'm getting STD in reverse and cured. You got me losing my patience. Yes, this person is fed up. So I feel like they've been through a lot. Maybe this even happened multiple times between them. So it could be cheating going on. Like these two may be very childish or bring out the worst in each other. Cheat, cheat on each other. Bring each other home. Health issues and all kinds of shit. Low vibration or be casting spells on each other and all kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, but they don't fell out with their in-laws over this. Okay, so why is one of three months here? One or three months, fast, pray, and detox. So stay uh, stay steadfast on that, y'all. You know, and I feel like at least for the next one or three months when the moon phases come, like though, that's like really the best time to kind of detox so you can connect. We already know that the uh, intuition is heightened during those times, but when you fast and you praying and you detoxing, that even heighten it even more. You know, it really make you feel connected, okay? Keep it on a low. This person definitely want to show you off because that's in reverse. Okay. They ready to stop like high in what it is that they really want. They ready to bask in prosperity. Good luck and prosperity. This person used to live a poly life and they giving that up. They giving that up because they know you're not going for it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean, y'all. Like the thing that they could have cured could have been syphilis. But this, I'm glad they cured it because I'm really tired of this shit coming up in these readings, to be honest. And like I said, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to just write out on one card, bad health. And we just go chalk it up and I'll use my intuition to determine what the heck it might be. Okay, so so I'm getting for those of you, the select few, because I'm getting this ain't going to be all of y'all. But for those of you that in the past where you had opportunity to like be with this person for a little while, like you might have got pregnant like early on and y'all connection and had a miscarriage. It's because this person was too low vibrational. It's like at the rate of feeling that you was, that was too much trauma and like negativity. Like even this person, whatever they planted was even negative. So they can't really put all the blame on a partner that they leaving behind, okay? And I could even just be talking about a couple. This don't even have to be a third-party situation, but it seems like it is because there's an air of, like, high vibrational energy. But at the same time, I'm trying to figure out if you guys got somebody new coming in, why this person is, like, leaving a situation to come back to you. Why is high-value man or woman here? Yeah, let's focus on the high-vibe shit. Let's see what's popping. Okay, let's see. This person is very much about their wits. They are a leader. You will feel safe with this person. So, 
with mental illness being in reverse, oh my God, they have royal bloodliners. So this person definitely king, queen, god, goddess energy. This person bring new perspectives into your life. And I, I see, I feel a deep sense of appreciation with that. Okay, so y'all really going to be feeling that vibe when this person kicks some knowledge. And it's like on your wavelength, like you and this person, y'all can really go back and forth where it's like other people can't keep up with the conversation with you. Because like I said, you guys are autodidact. Y'all just teach yourself uh, and study and just y'all do this on y'all own. Like this is not something that y'all doing for any type of recognition. Like your curiosity may see you down rabbit holes where you start want to order books or look at documentaries or just like essentially educate yourself on things that make you curious. Things that make you go, huh? Okay, but this person definitely, you and this new person, y'all definitely will be living a lavish lifestyle together. This person may be light complected, but I'm really getting like peanut butter, okay? <laughs> what is that called? Paper bag complexion, okay? Strong soul connection. All right, so Janice said, Qua, it's just something about this person. You're going to be really feeling them, okay? And it's so crazy because on the other side of the game, you don't know that this person going through war, trying to get out the door to get to you. So y'all might be faced with a tough decision in the very near future. 1555, as I said, that 15, 1555 on the timer. Strong soul connection, y'all. This is amazing. Born to be rich. It just keep doubling down on the freaking money. It keep, it keep, and this person's so, whoops, <laughs> wow, so one or the other of you and this new high value person is going to give the other, uh, like, a kundalini rising, I'm working on being a person that you deserve, so damn, even this person and they high level of worthiness don't even feel worthy of your energy, but this, oh, it's them, oh my god, it's this person that's leaving this woman behind, okay, I'm hearing this person say something to the extent like they haven't smiled in a long time. You may make a comment about this person's smile and it's like, you know, this person may make reference to how maybe you the only person that would have the privilege to say that because they don't smile around nobody else. It's like nobody else even know they got dimples. This person not feeling themselves. Their self-esteem is at an all-time low. Yeah, so you and this new person, y'all might be like real lovey-dovey. I feel like y'all could be going out buying new clothes. This person that want to be the best they can be for you, they might be going out buying new clothes. Maybe everybody involved because it seems like everybody is going for somebody new. It's like you and your new boo, y'all each other new boo. So y'all probably want to look the best y'all can for each other. And then there's somebody from your past that's trying to get it together because they feel quite dusty. Like, this how they feel. I feel like y'all haven't seen this person, so y'all wouldn't know whether they was or not. But they feel like they are. This person feel like they have to get it together. This person from your past may have very piercing eyes, and that may be something else that's very convincing or suggestive of them. It's like when they get, when they pierce into your soul, like, it may be, like, in the past, maybe you would just fall apart at their command, but, you know, you strengthened a lot about yourself. And it's like you fast and you focus on your fitness. And whatever this is, it's orchestrated in the ethers. So it's going to be pretty hard to try to, like, separate this. Okay? Maybe this person was successfully able to break up situations in the past for you that was karmic or just a lesson or a test. But with this one, they can't do that. Okay? Y'all, somebody here is... They want to, like, exhaust or shed this level of, you know, um, timidness. It's like, this ain't getting me nowhere, you know? Like, me just trying to wait for this person to say something and constantly pursue me. You know, it done got them bored with my offer. Why is focus on your fitness here? Because energy is currency. Y'all trying to gain a deeper understanding of yourself before you expect others to. So maybe that's what you do. You reflect while you're working out. And it's like you're killing two birds with one stone. Studying you down to a science is in reverse. Because people don't even... You haven't even unleashed a brand new you yet. <laughs> people don't know you. It's like right as they master a uh, old expired version of you. Then you pop out with something new. And people going to be talking about that shit. Okay? Y'all, somebody, this people that want to come back into your life. And I feel like it's more than romantic. 
I feel like you got a multitude of people that just seem blowing up hell of a, and they gossiping about it because these people thought you, they had you down pat. Now everything could be changing from your style to your schedule, to how you do things, to, you know, the way you see people and everything else. Why skinny mini here? But yeah, y'all out here, y'all transforming every chance you get. It's like y'all shape-shifting out here. Like, these people can't keep up with you. They can't copy you. Because the minute that they copy you, you shape-shift and this person got to keep keeping up. You get what I'm saying? You are a goddess, okay? So somebody, somebody like, it's like somebody always got to be fucking running on your parade. Because it's like, even when you lose weight, like, people might talk shit when you wasn't small. Then when you get small, people going to be trying to say they liked you better with curves. You know what I'm saying? Or you should have left some curves or you lost too much weight. Y'all, people ain't never happy. So do what make y'all happy, okay? Y'all, okay? So the thing is, is that this person is serious. But it's just way too funny that they coming in at a time. That it's like something that's really orchestrated in the ethers. And I'm just getting so much royal bloodline. Born to be rich. Orchestrated in the ethers. It's so much here that's happening. You guys encourage each other to be healthy. And I feel like that's like emotionally, mentally, physically, you know, sexually. The connection is strong. Y'all just like so lovey-dovey. Y'all so into each other. You get what I'm saying? So it's it's really, really nice. It's a good feel. It's not somebody having to redeem themselves from doing the most. Okay? So y'all, y'all was definitely a diamond in the rough. And this person left you in the rough. And it's like you picked yourself up and you dug yourself out the rough. And it's like somebody else is getting an opportunity to experience the better side of you. Instead of this person like building up with you, it's like they left you hanging. And now it's like if they thought they was better than you in the past, now they in a position where they like, well, damn, they feel like you're better than them. Like, I don't feel like y'all measure y'all self up against other people through wealth. Okay? Because that's a pretty shallow concept. Measuring somebody's wealth. You don't know somebody's spiritual wealth. And like I said, even if this person... Oh, no. It's your new person. That's all of this other energy. Like, just... Y'all... I'm getting a year. Father. So, within a year... This person, this old person, may have a one-year-old. Okay. They got daddy issues. Red flags. <laughs> this person will walk a red flag to y'all. Huh? Is that what that is? Still stuck on the past person. That's what y'all feel like. Y'all feel like they'll never get over this person. But this person feel like, um, you know, now is the right time. Yeah, y'all getting fit. Okay, it's time to celebrate y'all accomplishments. So, yeah, it's like, like I said, people seeing you look beautiful. You upgrading yourself, you know. It's like you just keep upgrading yourself. Like... Can, nobody can keep up with this like every time somebody else try to copy your energy you just switch y'all a master nobody can master the master okay and they keep trying to cheat their way to the top and karma is whooping their ass for that and for some of you this could have been a best friend of yours okay wow y'all who is a setup don't let nobody from your past back okay it's a setup and you know why? Because I feel like this person with the couple screws missing at the wee wee beginning of this reading, I feel like this person will lose their shit because they gave up something that they was really codependent on to come back to you. And that's not me guilt tripping y'all. Y'all got every right, more than enough right, and y'all got something fresh and new, untainted that's coming in for y'all, and it looks like a very beautiful outcome. And I'm not just talking about because it was talking about all the riches and royalty and luxury. I'm talking about because it said strong soul connection, okay? It says strong soul connection, butterfly kisses, you know, adoration and faith. It's like, it's a lot of, of beautiful, emotionally fulfilling things that are transpiring already in this new situation. So, yeah, it's like, of course, it's always going to be a test when something really, really good that you deserve come in because it's like, are you going to mess this up? And I feel like you can relate to that in a sense from the opposite viewpoint where in the past, you was the one that was brought into people life, you know, and then 
they fumble. So it's like, I know you don't want to fumble. For sure, for sure. But yeah, everybody going to be having something to say when y'all when y'all pop out. When y'all be outside, they going to be talking. So just get ready. I feel like people going to be talking because y'all been behind the scenes, like, working on y'all. So, so when people see some new version of you after they done finally got down, packed some expired version of you, they going to shit freaks. They going to be mad as hell. Like, girl, no, you did Just change it all up. And by the time they master down to the T, your new look, it's like you're going to be on to the next. Haircut, color, dye. You know, it's just like you just keep it moving. You a goddess. It's like, okay, I expect people to admire me, so it's okay, you know. But all right, y'all, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Good night.